I'm afraid of being close. I'm afraid of letting go. I'm afraid of everything I don't know. Trying to make it out of home. Sometimes I get lonely. I feel lonely. I get lonely sometimes. I get a little lost in my mind. Don't know why. Sometimes I get lonely. I feel lonely. I get lonely sometimes. Don't know why we all feel lonely sometimes. Sometimes I get lonely. I feel lonely. Whoever sees this and subscribes right now will get a free cloud, Sky not included. What's going on YouTube? It's Knox Hill and we're back with our reaction series. So today, today man, today is Monday. And you guys know what time it is on Monday. Now I'm very excited today because we have a special release to an artist who I love from Blackpink. I'm talking about Rose. You know it's time to finally do her solo on the ground. Now listen, if you guys stick around later, we're gonna do a special two part release. We're gonna drop this one first, but in a few hours, we're also going to do her second song, her B-side song that she has released as well. So it's gonna be a big day dedicated to one of my favorite singers. Yeah, Rose, this should be a good one. But before we go any further guys, I'm gonna give a quick shout out to the song in the intro. If you like that, yes I am a rapper. There's a good chance you like my breakdowns. Way that I think about music, you're probably gonna like my music as well. I have a new album, Chaos Theory, 20 tracks, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, Heart and Soul put into it. So if you want to support me and support the channel directly, I will put that link below. But anyways, anyways, we know what today's about. Rose, step up to the plate. Let's see what you got. Wow. Hang on. I got to bring this back one more time and just, I want to say something about it, but let me just check it. Isn't that wild? All right. So the song is called On the Ground. I love how we open with a meteor. Meteor up in the stars kind of makes me think of like everything crashing down, you know, like the rise and the crash of things. But I love the sound Foley going on in the background because it just sounds like a normal street corner. Like it doesn't sound like a meteor crashing down at the beginning as you see the meteor. And then when you see the car, then it sounds like the meteors falling through the sky. So it's a bit sort of reversed in the sounds. And then when she's sitting in the room, you've just got a little bit of that noise feedback, but you've got nothing. You don't hear that chandelier crash. It's almost like she's lost in her own world and just zoning everything out. Wow, a lot hitting you visually and in the eardrums without anything being sung yet. That's crazy. See what I mean? Like you don't, it sounds like wind. You don't hear like a huge inferno going on. And then this. That little bit of like ringing in the back of your ears as that chandelier falls in the mirror. Wow. My life's been magic, mm. seems fantastic. I used to have a hole in the wall with a mattress. Funny when you want it, suddenly you have it. You find out that your goal's just plastic every day. Wow, I used to have a hole in the wall with the mattress. You want it, suddenly you have it. Then you find out that your goals are just plastic. Man, that's some powerful lines, and I love how it's just simple right now. Like, we just have the guitar strumming, and you just let her voice shine out over top of it. And I've said this so many times. She is such a beautiful voice, man. I could listen to a whole album of this. I love that distorted synth. Do, 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 do. I worked my whole life just to get right. Think about 
what she said in the verse, her goals finding out that they're being made of plastic, the chandelier falling, the meteor coming down, the song being called on the ground. This makes sense now. She's talking about her celebrity, isn't she? Her rise to fame. And it's easy to get caught up in the lights, to get caught up in the fame and the following and all this. And you just feel so high sometimes because, you know, you are a star. But what you really need and what really matters, the simple things, true love, you know, true following. Because there's a little bit of a mention of a relationship here later on in the hook. But everything I need truly is on the ground. Staying grounded. You know the saying, being grounded? I think this is playing off of that. Wow, this is cool. Look at those visuals, man. So powerful. And I heard something in the hook that I like too. Hold up. I like that when she goes on the ground. There's like a bunch of vocals stacked in the back of the mix, basically. And it's like her yelling. But it's like way, way back. And just adds a little bit to that on the ground. Boom, 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 boom. Cool. Ooh. Got a little bit of swagger in there. Nah, they don't need me though. Almost saying it in like a rapping voice. And I was wondering because, you know, you just have the traditional sort of acoustic guitars being strung. How do we make this Blackpink? Because Blackpink is known just for funky samples, just these crazy synth sounds and production changes. And I was just wondering, it was building and building, and then you kicked out, and right here at this part of the hook, this is like Blackpinking it up, isn't it, with the production? Every day, every night. You hear how she hits it just so softly at the beginning. I said this before about her voice. She has so much vocal control. And she has such a soft, beautiful tone when she wants. But then also she can push it. And then she can go just up in her range. And this song is showcasing that perfectly. And I've been waiting for a song like this. So she can show kind of just her full range of control and what she's capable of. Wow, she's really shining on this. I've been thinking back on you. I like that sign behind her. Sorry, we're close. I think that just kind of says everything right there. And here in this second verse, we do talk a little bit about a relationship. But to me, I apply that to the greater theme of the song, right? Because, yeah, obviously it is love loss. And how could someone make a song talking about themes like love loss just in such a beautiful way? You know, it just puts a smile on your face, even though it's actually pretty tragic and pretty heavy in terms of the lyrics and what she's talking about right now. But to me... It's not true love, is it? It's not those things that keep you grounded, right? It could be maybe falling in love and falling out with someone and they only loved her for the fame, not for who she was truly, right? Oh, that's the theater that's closed. I think that's important. Because like she, you know, her being a performer, being an entertainer, I think that's very symbolic that the theater behind her is closed down. Hold up. Roses are dead. Love is fake. And there's the black. Interesting mix between the black and the white because it looks like a tombstone and then it looks like stairway like leading up to heaven. Playing off of the, the love being dead, the roses being dead. Wow. Oh, there's that meteor. Wow, that was cool. Everything just impacted at the exact same moment in time. That meteor finally crashed down and hit, and then that distortion synth kicks in. Ah. Way up in the clouds, 
I wonder if that was significant. She wrote her name, just Rose first, and then she wrote her full name after that. What is her actual name? Is her actual name Roseanne? So is it playing off of her identity, right? Her identity as a star and then who she really is. And sort of this song to me represents that, that conflict between the persona that she's created and who she actually is and what she stands for. And to me, this is showing a different side, that vulnerable side that we've talked about before on Lives. Oh, wow. Wow, one more time, please. Wow. I mean, she's got a great range. And what I like about that, when everything kicked out before all the production comes back in, is like there was a point there when she was singing and she hit one of those notes and it sounded like her voice was almost breaking. Like it was right on the cliff and it was about to crack. And then she just pushed it even further when it sounded like it couldn't go any further and go any higher. And she just carried on into that range. That was cool. Wow. And look at her now. That's wild because the song is called On the Ground and here she is floating amongst the flowers and floating in the air. Oh, and then the swinging imagery too because she was off of the ground swinging as well. Wow, there's a lot going on. Wow. Oh, and I just caught that too. The limo behind her is burning in the background. So it's not just like a regular car, it's a limousine. The fame behind her is burning. Everything that she needs, everything that she values in life. And how many times have we talked about this on this channel, guys? Never forget the things that matter most. You know, friendship, family, people that are always there for you, loyalty, true love. Those small, simple things. Not the money, not the fame. The success, because all of that is fleeting. All of that can fade and come and go like waves. What matters is the people who are always here for you, the ones you truly love. Never forget that. Never forget those values that keep you grounded, because that is the way to true happiness in this life. Wow, what a beautiful song. I love the vulnerability. I love how we started off simple with the acoustic guitars, but then we introduced other elements. We added just sort of this swagger to it, this little bit of funk to the sounds. Yeah, it was like a love ballad that's tragic, but at the same time, a very deeper message looking into the internal conflict of the artist. That was cool, man. Rosé? I'm so glad that we did this. You are Knox Hill certified. So hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. Comment down below any other Rose or Blackpink songs you want to see me do or if there's other artists you want to see me check out. I try to read all of your comments, guys. I respond to as much as I can. So please keep commenting and keep posting. Also, if you're here at the end of this video, do me a favor, subscribe, notifications on so that we can keep growing, keep building the buzz and keep doing this, guys. It bumps us up in the algorithm, lets us get seen by other people who might like reaction channels like this very one. As always, this is your reminder to stay safe, to stay positive. It's Knox Hill. I'll catch you again very soon. I'm out.